Good morning. Are the Jews that have gone down to Egypt, are they lining up for a catastrophe? Our reading is at Jeremiah chapter 44, verses 11 to 14. Therefore, thus says the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, Behold, I will set my face against you for catastrophe and for cutting off all Judah. And I will take the remnant of Judah who have set their faces to go into the land of Egypt to dwell there, and they shall all be consumed and fall in the land of Egypt. They shall be consumed by the sword and by famine. They shall die from the least to the greatest by the sword and by famine. And they shall be an oath, an astonishment, a curse, and a reproach. For I will punish those who dwell in the land of Egypt as I have punished Jerusalem by the sword, by famine, and by pestilence, so that none of the remnant of Judah who have gone into the land of Egypt to dwell there shall escape or survive, lest they return to the land of Judah to which they desire to return and dwell. For none shall return except those who escape. So are the Jews that have gone down to the land of Egypt, are they basically lining themselves up for catastrophe? They are. Now, not all the people went freely. Johanan and his captains uh, forced the whole group to go. So there are some that are going involuntarily. They're coming along because they've pretty much been taken captive, even though they skipped the Babylonian captivity. Now they're being taken captive down to Egypt. Again, as we said yesterday, be careful what leaders you choose. Now, verse 14 was especially interesting because verse 14 says that only those who escape will return. And this also helps us understand that, again, some are going quite voluntarily. Some are going quite involuntarily. Some are being forced and coerced. And God is basically saying to them, you need to try to escape. And keep in mind, Johanan has no authority to force any of these people to go down to Egypt. The people, if they disregard him, if they disregard him, if they choose to Uh, seek to escape if they get an opportunity, when they get an opportunity. They're not violating anything. They're, They're completely within their rights. People can't force you to go to Egypt. There's an important principle going on here. A lot of people seem to have this, a lot of believers seem to have this idea that basically you have to do what you're told. You just need to submit and comply and and God puts those people in charge and so we just submit to them. But here God is saying that the only ones that are going to be blessed and allowed to come back, those are the ones who escape. So he's basically encouraging the people through his prophet Jeremiah. He's encouraging these people to resist. He's encouraging them to look for an opportunity to get away and return to the land of Judah, where he has basically said, that's where you're supposed to be. There are actually numerous cases in the Bible where the believer is told to resist in in various ways. We are to resist evil. There's different times when we have to submit, but there's other times when we need to resist. Each it's not all one size, each that fits everything. Each, each case is its own case. So we need to be careful and watch, and God will lead us and show us. But this idea that we are to just passively just sort of get on the bus and, and go to prison when they tell us to, I, I, don't, I don't buy that. Christianity is an act of faith. It's, it's not with something where we just passively go along with what we're told to do, and we might say, well, I don't ag- believe in that. I don't agree with that. Instead, we are to actively exercise our faith. We are to actively resist. We not only think and feel, but we act and we do. Do you know that in the Holocaust, many Jews, were their lives were saved because somebody took an active role and actually stepped out and risked their own neck to save their lives? They did stuff. They actually did exploits for God. And so we need to remember that today. Let's not just be a bunch of floppy, noodle-spined uh, people. That, that is not what we need in this hour. We need to be spirit-led, wise, actively living the Christian faith, and actively resisting evil. May God be our leader. Let's pray about this. Dear Father in heaven, thank you for these, the word from Jeremiah to these people who are being forced down into Egypt. We pray that you will help us to have courage and have strength and not just go along with the easy thing. Sometimes, Lord, we need to actively resist, and we need your help to have the courage to do it. On our own, I think we're just a bunch of cowards and wimps, but through the strength that you provide, we can prevail. Thank you for hearing our prayer and watching over us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So, yes, the Jews that went down intentionally down to Egypt are lining themselves up for catastrophe. God be with you today and all that you do.